Hello you guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to a video for The Scrap Room. Today we are playing with a portion of the Flavors of the Month kit for April. In the Flavors of the Month kit you get four mini collections of four new um, collections and each little mini kit has its own video on my channel. Um, I help design or make layouts to show off the lovely products in all those Flavors of the Month portions of the kit. Uh, there's also add-ons and all this other fun stuff. You'll have to go check out the website and the Facebook page to see all the inspiration you can get from the Flavors of the Month kit, the Double Shot kits, all the add-ons, all the goodies. All those links will be down below. Today we're going to focus on Paige Evans collection, Blooming Wild, and I am playing with the sketch uh, this month with this collection. I actually designed this sketch, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but we're going to do, I'm going to show off what was in the kit first, and then I'm going to go ahead and start creating. So in this kit, in every portion, so every like mini collection in the flavors of the month kit you're going to get two pieces of cardstock three pieces of pattern paper from that collection and some embellishments so with this page evans one we get two sheets of just some white cardstock everyone's going to get these three pattern papers you're going to get number six um, from blooming wild from page evans which is this beautiful rainbow and white and this gorgeous floral and then you get this lovely rainbow border on the back um, sheet number one, or not sheet number one, sheet 24, I don't know why I thought it said number one, which is this gorgeous floral, and these are very, look more hand-painted than they have before, um, gorgeous floral back is this beautiful blue plaid, and then last but not least, sheet number 10, which I love, I can't wait, I'm going to play with this for sure, for the sketch, you'll see, and it's got these beautiful stripes, and then this nice, like, um, fun ombre floral on the back so those are the pattern papers and then everyone is going to get some embellishments but it's all going to vary um for what you get so everybody's going to get a sixth pack of ephemera and some puffy phrases so these are my puffy phrases i got true story pretty and then there's some florals an ampersand and a couple hearts so those are my Let's put the white card stock down so you can see these better. These are my puffy phrases. And then everyone's going to get, like I said, a sixth pack of ephemera. And you're going to get three caps. So these are kind of a lot like um, flare, but they're chipboard. So the, my three caps I got are so pretty. This beautiful floral in, uh, like it looks like a pot or a vase. And then this one that's just floral. So those are my three caps. And then these are the ephemera I got. And like I said, you get a sixth of a pack. It's going to vary. So another rainbow, this happy, this cute little bird house, this gorgeous floral. Oh, look, a little bird. We'll put him right there. A tag. And then this fun little quilted looking like journaling spot. That's cool. And I like this tag. A little bit of the... So there's a little touch of this like iridescent is it iridescent or is it just silver i think just silver on things in this collection this time so there you have it so i am going to get to cutting some of my papers picking out a photo or two i think just I think just one photo a photo and we will get to create all right you guys this is where we're at so i decided i really wanted to use the super colorful floral paper i got the white cardstock that came with it and I trimmed it down just a little bit and then I wanted to tame down the pattern just a tiny bit just like in the sketch and create kind of a clouded mixed media look um, behind where the photo was gonna go so I used this paper glaze uh, from pick and fed studios velvet in winter snowfall so it has kind of like a it's got a slight shimmer to it um, I've backed my photo with white cardstock and then um, some of the floral paper that is the other side of the stripes and I've picked out three of the stripes that I want to use as my frames so that's gonna go there and now I just need to make my frames since they're all roughly the same size but parts of that are hiding behind the photo um 
so we can make our we can make our squares or we can make our frames a little bit bigger than um, what normally we would allow with only this much paper, if that makes any sense. For example, it's 12 inches, right? So that means I can make at least a three by three by three by three square, right? A three, a three inch square. Well, you could technically make it a little bit bigger than that because you won't, you have one side that you will be hiding. And we can, we can be clever with our, our hiding as well and maybe make it even bigger. So it's possible we can do a little more than that. I'm going to try to get it so I can put this tag here. I kind of want to journal on this tag. Should I just use another one of these? I'll take up more space and I can put my tag out further. around And now I just need to find some alphas for my title. And then we're going to add some sequins because I can. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me, checking out my channel and my process video with the scrap room today. Uh, make sure you check out the shop. Uh, the store, the TSR store, you can get a bunch of great yummy things um, from there, but also check out the flavors of the month kit for this month. Um, grab it if you haven't already. Make sure you go check out all the fun challenges on the Facebook group as well. And we'll see you next time.